David here out on another beautiful morning we're gonna fly yes another slow stick however this is a slightly different one you may notice what is this stuff up here well I have always loved biplanes and what is a World War One style airplane without two wings I have some of my original slow stick wings these are from 2005 2004 2005 almost 20 years old 19 years old you can tell when you got a really old slow stick wing when it's white on the bottom and the reason is is uh, that's the foam that they were using at the time so if you get a colored bottom as the same as the top that's a newer version these also came with uh, aluminum bodies in a much bigger box today uh, I wanted to talk about the slow stick and and how um, the biplane came to be I've seen other conversion kits that come with uh, plywood parts and those are pretty cool um, I've always kind of wanted to do my own I knew I needed to lower the bottom wing a little bit below the stick so I, I, I do that and then I have the upper wing uh, what I thought looked like a decent distance uh, they're still held on by rubber bands as you can see and I have not modified this yet to uh, support the bolt-on wings partly because I don't have enough wings that I have all the bolt-on wings for but I will do that sometime I have all the other parts for the slow stick and they will be available as well including the motor mounts for the square boom the landing gear plates uh, as well as the servo trays the joiner the steerable tail wheel the the guides and one of the things I like to do and I didn't talk about this on my other one but when I'm bolting the original slow stick tail pieces I like to I have a really thin ply I used to use thin plywood uh, but I didn't have any so I, I 3d printed some sheets that just add a nice stiffener where it joins the stick and I have used a, a, a removable glue as well as some nylon nuts and bolts so it's nice and light I don't like using metal back there because it's just amplified on the weight on that far back on the tail of course we've got the camera gear on there this is the same camera gear I was using on my ultralight I've just moved it over flip the camera gear up so it's between the wings and we're going to be looking down over the prop on this on this flight um, of course I'm using the TBS Crossfire with my own breakout board that I've got and the shell uh, 900 megahertz uh, antenna and the run cam with the Vista DJI Vista and the Q light OSD to give us our on-screen display data with the GPS no flight control needed on this but if you thought that the slow stick was light enough and floated enough well when you add two wings to it it feels like a slow stick on helium I don't know any other way to describe it but it's it's gonna be a lot of fun just floats <laughs> so you might notice I I don't have outer wing struts and that's partly because I wanted to try it without and find out if I needed them or not and it turns out I really don't need them the I didn't notice a lot of flutter in the wings when I f fly there is a little bit but it's a it is a slow stick of course we do have the motor out front we have the battery out front but it uh, <laughs> it's just super enjoyable I can't stop from smiling and look they've moved all the trucks off the road amazing 11 minutes. what are we gonna do for touch and goes um, 
I just put the TBS Crossfire on here so I can get a little bit more range if needed. Uh, I didn't have it on here before because I never planned on going very far with such a light, slow plane. But um, I do get, this is a, an 1100 kV motor. It's an old hacker clone that I've had around forever. It's pretty performant. I'm using a 10 by 5 inch prop on it. And I get a 2200 milliamp 3 cell battery on here. And that gives me uh, probably 10 to 12 minutes um, if I go easy on it. And uh, the air is moving up here today. You probably noticed when I took off, it just floated. So it just feels like it's a slow stick, like I said before, a slow stick on helium. Right here, we're at 240 feet altitude. 10 minutes. Says with the wind here, we're going about 24 miles an hour. So into the wind, I'm, I think we're probably half that. Um, I love being able to look around left and right um, and I am about half throttle just uh, kind of cruising and uh, okay I powered off right here it's just windmilling the prop ah oh, man I'm, I'm pretty happy with this wasp camera um, colors look great I want to try it at night and see what it looks like. This is this is powered off. I'm just gliding, and the prop is windmilling. I'm letting it come down. I'm going to loop around a little bit more, and I'll do a slow flyby past the camera. I got Kyle here with me. Hopefully, we'll get some air-to-air -air footage of it. What do you think, Kyle? Yeah, that sounds awesome. Man, it just slows down. Do you see that? An airplane or a helicopter? Yeah, I know. It's like an auto gyro or something. No. And there's Will. Wonder what he brought today. This airplane is just a dream to fly in calm weather. It, it just floats around. If you want a super slow, stable <laughs> platform that just looks weird, uh, this is it. Okay, we touched down. I think that was a three-point landing. I do have the steerable tail wheel on here, which is really nice. Look, and we got still have voltage, plenty. We're just gonna take off again here. Just give it power. <laughs> it goes right up. Awesome. Let's go out here. Let's get a touch and go out here. This is our desert area. It looks like grass now. Six. Woo! Nice! <laughs> Look at that. So all this video from the air is filmed on my goggles, the DVR built into DJI, which, which I wish I had, you know, something more high quality for you, but it is what it is. This is exactly what I see. So I do use the 4x3 aspect ratio, and a lot of times when I do the edit, I'll, I'll kind of put it to the the regular 16 by 9 that you see on YouTube, but um, I may do a letter box around this one and just so you can see the full sensor, the, the top and bottom of the screen as part of uh, the experience, because that's exactly what I see in, in the video goggles. And I do like to see pretty far down and pretty far up. That gives me really close to your peripheral vision with this wide angle of, of these lenses. I find often when you have a landing gear plane, don't be afraid to keep the power on when you're landing and you're gonna be able to land slower than if you shut the power off and let it glide in. Um, when you can add a little bit of power and a little back pressure, uh, it, it will just ease right in like a real airplane. You don't land an airplane off in dead stick. Here we are landing. A <laughs> three point landing. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>